Colleen Morose was also known to the feds as Jihad Jane, and for good reason if these allegations are true. Al-Qaeda and different terrorist organizations are targeting specifically the inner cities in the United States. They are recruiting from the African-American community, from the Hispanic community. Agents were trying to arrest Lukman Amin Abdullah on firearm charges seen here, screen light. The changes that I really wanted to see socially growing up, I realized that I can do it. I, I always had this this hate for the way the society that I grew up in was. You know, I, I grew up not being able to wear black in any other color. Like growing up, I wouldn't be able to wear black and, and green because that's a gang color. And you know, now as a Muslim, you know, we could change that. I'm wearing it right now, and I'm not representing any sort of gang. It's it's just that I can. I can try to, to help out my own community and while I'm Muslim, also show people who have this bad image of Muslim, they can see that, hey, Muslims care about what's happening in our own community, not just what's happening overseas. What really drew me to Islam, honestly, was the respect that women got. I noticed I carried myself in the same way as my Muslim friends, but I noticed they were respected at a completely different level that made me jealous. I've been Muslim now for seven years. Um, in, initially, it was very difficult for my family to accept the fact that I was, that I became Muslim. They thought that it was a phase that I would get over <laughs> once I started college. Um, but they've realized just how similar it is with Catholicism. And, you know, my family had this fear that I would forget my culture. I'm Puerto Rican and Mexican, and they thought, okay, well, now you want to be Arab. Um, and I say, no, I'm not. I am Muslim, but I am a Latina Muslim. You have a question, just ask. It, it doesn't, it does not hurt to ask. I have been asked so many questions randomly on the street. I've been insulted, but I'll correct their insult. And I've, I've been asked questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. I've been asked, do I speak English? And I bust out with perfect English, at least I'd, I'd hope so. Um, but it's honestly just really being open-minded, not always believing what other people tell you or through hearsay and really trying to experience it on a personal level and go out there and just meet other people.